Hey guys, just a reminder, this is not official medical advice or such. Please seek an appointment with a licensed medical provider. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Dive Into Diet on Performance Medicine TV. I'm with the star of the show, nutrition coach Lucas Schmidt. Lucas, how's it going, man? It's going well. How about yourself? Uh, I'm doing wonderful. It's so good to see you, uh, e- even if it's remote. Uh, we get <laughs> to we get to hang a little bit, uh, hang out today. Uh, you shot me a text with what we wanted to talk about today, and it, it's a supplement that. You know, I've heard a little bit about, but I don't know a ton about, and that's taurine. Taurine, that's correct. Can yep. you kind of, kind of, let's dive in here. Tell me, tell me what it is. All right, taurine is an amino sulfonic acid. I have some notes here to keep me on track because I tend to go off on tangents. So if you see me glancing down, that's what it's for. Uh, it's found in protein-rich foods, like a lot of other amino acids. So. Um, Meat, fish, eggs, things like that generally. Um, I, as far as I know, more in the animal proteins than in the plant proteins. Um, that isn't to say that there isn't a plant protein, protein that um, doesn't contain it or contains it, I should say. But it's most commonly found in animal proteins. So, and then, But really, most people, I think, when they think of taurine, they think of it in supplement form. Another common area you'll see it on an ingredient list is... Uh, like pre-workouts, like pre-workout powders and or um, I've seen it in energy drinks too. I was going to mention that. I was going to mention, I think it's like in Monster or something like that. Yeah. It, um, and when I was brushing up on taurine and getting or researching, you know, to, to talk more thoroughly about it today than what I already knew, I didn't see a ton in the regards of like uh, ramping you up. So hmm. I, 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 I don't know why it's included in Monster, but um, it, it does have a, a mild energy boosting effect, so maybe that's why. But really, Monster's about getting that caffeine in you. <laughs> that's what it, there's a lot of caffeine in a Monster. So well, when I think of like you said, it was an, an amino acid. I, I think of protein. I think of like um, something that helps build muscle. Is that am I completely off with like no, no, why somebody would would take it or what yeah. more of it? No, that you're not off. It is mostly taken, as far as I know, for athletic performance and recovery. Okay. Uh, although there's other potential benefits. Keep in mind, any of the benefits I list with taurine today in supplemental form are uh, the research is is not terrible. I, it's not bad research. It's it's just not um, it's not like a pharmaceutical where I can be like, yes, if you take taurine, you will be cured of this condition or you will be treated for this condition. Um, There's actually a wide, very wide range of benefits possibly reported from taurine because it's an amino acid. Amino acids are used in so many different processes in the body that uh, energy, tissue repair, tissue maintenance, tissue growth, uh, hormone production, uh, inflammation. It's just a, it's a very broad spectrum of effects that you get, not just from taurine, but amino acids in general. That's why they're so crucial for your health. Um, but taurine itself uh, is made, it's a the end product. The body can make it, actually, so you don't have to take it or, or in, ingest it. Your body makes it from cysteine, so it's another compound you get, so you get it from cysteine. Now, it's not cysteine directly to taurine. There's actually a long chain of events. But the end byproduct eventually is taurine if the body needs it. So it will synthesize taurine. Infants can't synthesize taurine. So there is that. So um, infants, they have they, they can't synthesize a lot of things until they are a little older. So taurine probably gained from milk or protein that the infant eats. Um, it's essential to, to infants. So. So, meaning they cannot make it. And as, when you see the word essential next to like a nutrient, essential amino acids, it means the body needs to get it from an external source. So, so taurine is not essential because we make it ourselves, but it's, it, it may- for an adult is not considered essential in the sense that um, we can make it from other, as long as you're getting other amino acids or proteins. That's the thing. Um, taurine is, re- is necessary in the body, but we'll make it. So if that makes sense. That's super interesting. I mean, it sounds like there's, you know, a ton of reasons 
to take it um, or supplement with it, even though, you know, we make it ourselves? Is, is there like a... There's more specific reasons, like supplement-wise, like why would you take it? I don't know yeah. if that's where you're le- leading. Um, the therapeutic use, like with a supplement version, would be... Um, I've listed the things, the top reasons. Energy production, that's probably why it's in Monster. Um, Processing bile acids, ooh. Uh, Balancing fluids, salts, and minerals. So pertaining to like blood pressure, electrolyte balance, things like that. So those are the primary sort of, if I'm taking it outside of getting it from food, that's why I'm taking extra taurine. Mm. So what that would lead to, I'm going to list... Um, some bullet point like possible health benefits. And I say possible because the research, some is good, some is eh, very few double blind studies on this, but possibly heart healthy indirectly because of the reduc- p- potential reduction of blood pressure or regulation of blood pressure that comes from balancing fluids. Um, it has been shown they're researching it for helping with congestive heart failure and promoting better heart function. A possible benefit for ADHD and anxiety because it mitigates neural inflammation and upregulates NRF2 expression. So there's some possible neurological benefits. I think your dad's talked about taurine for – I I seem to remember that. I I didn't see the whole – I saw a couple episodes maybe where you and him talked about or he and someone else spoke about taurine and its neurological benefits. So Yeah. Um, it can aid in athletic recovery and performance because of the muscular repair. It's an amino acid. So, you know, uh, it can aid this one sort of stuck out to me. Uh, I need to look into it further to give you a more detailed explanation as to why, or maybe this could be an interesting one for your dad. Cause he's a physician to talk about. It supposedly can aid in the swelling caused by hepatitis in the liver. So the liver will swell if you have hepatitis and taurine is being experimented with to lower that problem. Interesting. Yeah. It's a very specific. I I thought that's awfully specific. (laughs) Um, And it is the most abundant amino acid found in the retina of your eye. So it's it's looked at for eye health as well to prevent macular degeneration, things like that. So those are the – that's the plethora of possible therapeutic uses. That is super fascinating. And is there like, is there reasons not to take it? Like I'm seeing like a lot of upside. Um, I, I didn't stumble on any like warnings about taking it. You know, it's probably one of those things you should, well, it's definitely one of those things like any supplement you need to tell your doctor you're taking it. I'm just mention it. Or like, you know, if you're a patient here at performance on the chart, we have a list of everything you're taking, including supplements. It's not just drugs. So it's always good to disclose that um, in the event. But being as it's an amino acid that you're probably going to get nutritionally, I don't, I don't know that there's risks involved unless you're just taking, you know, 16 grams a day, which is 16,000 milligrams. That's a that's a very high dose of taurine. Um, I don't know that that would hurt you. I I hesitate to say that it, it's um it's going to harm you it, taking it just because it's a nutrient essentially. Um, and it's not as, um, I, I haven't seen any research that it's, that can become toxic. Like if you were to take essential minerals at high doses, like zinc, if you take too much zinc, you can become toxic. Um, any, almost any mineral, you'll get toxicity if you take too much of it. So there's probably a line that's too much, but the dosage size that I've found that's common um, is actually pretty broad in my opinion. So I've seen as little as 500 milligrams, which is 0.5 grams, up to 6,000 milligrams a day. Mm. That's, a really, a, that's a big that's gap. A wide, yeah. Um, some of the studies use dosages of six whole grams of, of taurine. So uh, they, didn't, they didn't report negative side effects from that high of a dose. Um, they, they were studying the dose sizes compared to therapeutic use. So like does this much help with this condition? Does this little help? What's the minimum effective dose? I saw as small as 500 milligrams. So that's why I put that as the baseline. So, And, and dosage would be dependent on the reason you're taking it. I think uh, so. That's what I, that's what I seem to gather from some, some of the studies I looked at for it. Mm. Um, 
And as far as getting it, it's pretty easy to buy. It's pretty cheap. You can find it on Amazon. There's tons of retailers. Um, if I were to personally, I actually have some at home. I buy it in bulk form, meaning powder form in a bag instead of capsules because it's a lot cheaper and you get a lot more for your money. Excuse me. But, um, or excuse me, not a but. But implies there's a negative. Uh <laughs> It's in powder form. It doesn't really have a taste, which is great. So you can mix it in almost any beverage and not notice. It's a little gritty if you drink it in a little bit of water. But if you put it in a smoothie, you would never know it was there. Is this something you're currently taking, or is it? I take it. Times? Yeah, I okay. just yeah, I've been taking it. I can't report personally noticing like a sudden. Ooh, I feel great, or this or that, just because um, I'm taking other supplements too, and and I don't, I can't differentiate. You know, I, I'm just taking it. I take it in my little workout cocktail. So, <laughs> now, it, out of curiosity, is your workout cocktail before or after your workout? It's before okay. right now. Not, okay. but I, I'm not like set on that. I just do it beforehand. Okay, uh, that's super interesting, Lucas. Taurine is something that you know. I I believe it's been in the news, you know, quite a bit. You know, over the last couple of years, and you know, like you said. Uh, Dad has talked about it a little bit on on the Common Sense MD. Uh, so thank you for uh, for uh, diving in here and giving us some details. Is there anything else you want to uh, talk about in regards to touring before we call it a podcast? I don't think so. Sounds good to me. Lucas, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for jumping on. Hey, thank you. Don't go away. 